Michael Vincent. My name is Michael Vincent. I've been passionate about magic since the age of six. I would describe my style of magic as classical in its approach, elegant in its interpretation. The brilliant work of my mentors, their work inspired me, and I hope my work in the same way will inspire someone that's not even born yet, and that really tickles me. This particular award signifies when I was the Magic Circle's close-up magician of the year. I think I have what it takes to fool Penn & Teller. Will I fool them? That remains to be seen. Can I fool them? Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Michael Vincent. Thank you, thank you. Watch very closely. Queen of Diamonds, everyone. And the Jack of Clubs. Just extend your arms forward for me. Uh, I wonder if that's a trick sleeve. Let me just try this. If I just rub here and here. Now it's the Red Aces, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> However, let's take this a stage further. There's the five of diamonds, the jack of spades, and if I may use my sleeves, I think you'll agree this is the perfect poker hand. Watch closely. The ace of clubs goes on the face of the pack. Ace of spades on the palm of my hand. Is that fair enough? Mm -hmm. The two red aces out of the way just for the time being. Now, in order to create a moment of pure astonishment, I'm going to have to take the magic out of my own hand. Would you be so kind? Can I borrow your right hand for a second? Palm upwards. Can you hold the deck for me? Since you're holding them, there's no way I can cheat. Now, you don't have to say a word. All you need to do is watch very closely. Because, <laughs> look, we now have on top of the deck the red ace. On the bottom of the deck, the ace of hearts, the red aces, top and bottom, ladies and gentlemen. And in the middle, the two black aces. Thank you, thank you. Now, between you and me, that was the real thing. Now, would you like to see some pure sleight of hand? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've been practicing. <laughs> Here's the two red aces, top and bottom. Black one's in the middle. So far, so good. Now, you know what they say about sleight of hand, don't you? Watch the right hand, watch that red ace. The quickness of the hand deceives the eye. Oh. <laughs> I don't feel bad, I missed it as well. <laughs> There's the two black aces, once again, top and bottom, and right back where they started, the two red aces. <laughs> How many aces have you seen so far? Four. Four? Actually, there weren't any at all. See, look, there's no ace on top. Very slowly, on the bottom. Nothing trapped between my fingers, nothing up the sleeves. I'm going to show you each and every card in the pack. You can be the eyes of the audience. The aces do not exist, except in your imagination. Each and every card, right to the very end. I'm going to do this four times in a row. Are you ready? <laughs> you know, it's funny. Even in this day and age, they still think magicians use their sleeves. So all you do is cast a spell. And there's the A so hard. <laughs> Did you know you can even do this with one finger? Watch the heart as it becomes a diamond. It's almost like mass hypnosis. It's not what you see, but rather what you think you see, and that is the wonder and mystery. <laughs> My friends, it's been an absolute privilege being with you tonight to share these few moments of magic with you. Before we part company, I'd like to thank you all for your kind applause and appreciation. Uh, my mother once said to me, if I receive a gift with one hand, 
it's always nice to return the compliment and give something back with the other. So I'd like to dedicate this final piece to all of you, my new friends. I've been passionate about magic for 40 years. The history of magic, the pursuit for technical mastery, and also all of my mentors inspired me to leave the craft of magic better than I found it. It's allowed me to communicate, and in spite of the challenges and chaos of life, it's given me the courage to look inside the chaos to find balance, peace, and perfect order. Which is why tonight I feel we shared something very special. Much more than these beautiful illusions, we've celebrated the joy of living through the wonder of magic and these 52 painted pasteboards who each know their place. We celebrated an appreciation for an ancient craft, elegant deceptions, and a love for the mysterious. But to celebrate life, my friends, is the only magic. So sincerely from myself, Michael Vincent, my two new friends, we wish each and every one of you a life of peace, joy, and happiness. We wish good health, prosperity, and may the spirit of magic be with you always. Thank you. Thank you. It's the Michael Vincent, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Come on over here. We're going to let Pam and Teller have a little chat, work out uh, whether or not they have any idea how that was done. I think I speak for everyone here by saying, A, that was amazing. Thank you. B, no one here has any idea how that could be done, could you? I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm on the verge of saying we should burn you at the stake. Because I... <laughs> One of the things I love doing is turning experienced magicians into normal people. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm hoping that I got them to look in the wrong place at the right time. Yeah, well, they, they, they seem a little stumped to me. I think we may well have our first person go to Vegas. That'd be great. Yeah, um, OK, you. let's go over. I think we've given them long enough, don't you? Let's move over now. Michael, gentlemen. Gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. First of all, remarkable up close magic, I Perfect. would have thought, regardless of Perfect. whether you've been. Wonderful. You've and also classic. I mean, when you first get into magic, this is what you're trying to learn. Uh, I will just tell the people at home, because I think it makes it more amazing, there was no uh, trick deck whatsoever used. This is what a person can do with just their hands and a deck of cards. This is uh, not hours, not days, this is decades of practice to Old do this. school magic. I drove him crazy. You made wonderful, polite eye contact with me, and I looked down at your hands. <laughs> Got the that. only people that would do that is would a be us <laughs> and psycho killers. He's absolutely um, right. <laughs> you had one of us burning one of your hands and one of us burning your other so hand. So you were watching the left hand, you were watching yeah, the right we were hand. Watching, we were separated. And the audience were keeping an eye on what was going on in the middle, right? <laughs> absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> that having been said, because... It's classic magic. Mm. Uh, I think you know that we know the moves. I'm not surprised. And, and the uh, the very ending, the uh, shuffling uh, right side up and upside down is wonderful. And I'm going to say something rather cryptic to you. Okay. And uh, I'm hoping the audience won't understand because you did so beautifully. Can I just, really don't I want to tip. We've only understood about 10% of okay. what you're <laughs> I think you're hung clear on this one. But, but. we believe... At the end, to do that wonderful ending, we believe that you rang in a cooler. And we think you, you did it when you brought the deck across. Is that Hold correct? On. Is that legal to <laughs> ring in a cooler? Did you ring in a cooler? I have to bow to, to superior knowledge and intellect. Oh, you did a wonderful job. Wow. It's nice to see those moves done quickly. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Michael Vincent, ladies and gentlemen. What a fabulous performance. Thank you. Thank you. It's a little better than that, as a matter of fact.